Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy with the Blitzy Creative Team, and today I have a really fun Halloween project for you. So I'm going to start with this collection from Crate Paper called After Dark, and I'm going to kind of flip through all the products that I have, and so you can get a good look at the line. You can use any Halloween line you have on hand or that you like, or even just a regular collection that is colors that match your Halloween photograph. So. I have been really bad about not using my Silhouette Cameo, and if you're unfamiliar with what that is, it's a die cutting machine, and it connects to the internet and to your laptop, and you can download cut files and then cut them on the machine. So that's what I did here. I downloaded this file as a Happy Halloween scripty font. I just love the way that it looks, and I cut it out with my Cameo using some of the Crate Paper After Dark papers. Now I've taken some Canson watercolor paper and the black soot Tim Holtz Distress ink and I'm doing the packaging technique and then I'm going to take a plastic straw and blow on the watercolor because I use a lot of water because I wanted to dilute that black and make it look more gray. So by using the straw it kind of blows the, the water and makes these really cool kind of creepy splatters and I cut the the watercolor paper down to be slightly smaller than 12 by 12 so that you could see a background of that cobweb paper. I've just layered a bunch of scraps of paper and embellishments behind the photograph to give it a little bit of grounding but as you can see the title takes up a lot of the layout so I used a rather small picture and it's a picture of our dog Jack dressed as a pumpkin and don't worry, he loves to wear costumes, so he was very happy to oblige. Um, like I said, I'm just layering a bunch of ephemera behind there. Now I'm going to use this fine line applicator that has some quick dry glue in it and put the title on. It's a fairly big title, so it wasn't too difficult to glue down. And then I'm just going to take a bunch of the different embellishments, some of the enamel dots and puppy stickers, there's also some 6x12 stickers and some chipboard and just embellish around this layout. At first I thought that I wasn't going to use a lot of embellishments on this one, but I end up using a ton and I think that it looks really cool and it's one of my favorite layouts I've done in a really long time. I know I probably say that about a lot of them, but this one really is and I'm usually not into like themed collections. But for some reason, this crepe paper collection was just like calling my name. Like, you need me. You need to scrapbook with me. So I was happy to oblige. <laughs> but I love that it has like a pop of that kind of aqua dusty blue color and then also some purple. And that the yellow is kind of a citron colored mustardy yellow and the black is not super super black. I, I just think that it's a really unique collection. So here you can see some close-ups of the watercolor and the title and some of the embellishments that I added to this photograph. So thanks guys so much for watching and make sure to check out the Blitzy website for all of your crafting supplies. Bye!